Hello everyone, Michael here again from Trading Institutional Order Flow on the ForexFactory.com website. Thank you all for um, watching the video. Um, first, let me start by saying a big thank you to all of you who attended the webinar um, two Sundays ago on the 29th of January. Um, I hope you guys found it useful. It's been great getting the feedback that you've all been given. Um, the next one is at the end of this month, which is the 26th of February. Um, for those of you who are interested, um, please let me know. Apologies to those of you who um, sent in your email addresses, but it got didn't get to you. The invite didn't get to you. For many of you, there were some spelling or errors in the email address, um, so it, it didn't get there. But I've sent the recordings to you, and I hope you got those. Um, so if you would like to attend the next webinar, just let me know. Um, even if I have your email address, I wouldn't dream of just presuming that because I have your address, I should just email you. If you would like to attend, please let me know. Um, storehouseanalytics at gmail.com. Okay, so today I wanted to go through some charts with you all, um, going through some big picture levels and big picture opportunities. Um, and and we can we can see if there's anything happening now as always I'm gonna start with the US dollar and as you know we've we've talked about this chart for a long time now we're still working our way um, up towards this level here um, which is still the supply that's above us we've come and touched down in this um, little area which was in a previous video that I posted so this area, this rally base, rally is no longer fresh because we've had that first test into it. So if we're looking for fresh levels, we're coming down in here um, for the for the fresh levels. So these are the levels. You can still keep this one on your chart because it was such a shallow retest into the level before it um, took off. So it might be worth putting it in there and watching price as it comes in. But in terms of um, absolute freshness, which is preferred, these are the two levels that we're looking at. So it's re there's really nothing in play in terms of the big picture for the dollar right now. We are seeing some weakness in the dollar on the um, weekly chart, and you can see that this big weekly area has been removed. So it's it's something that you want to notice. Also, the momentum on this um, weekly chart has also ended. Um, even though the momentum is still up on the monthly we have the momentum ended and with the end of the momentum as you all know we have um, areas of, of supply now being created on the weekly not a great zone at all the move away is very very poor um, it, it's it's not something that you would take with a set and forget um, and on the weekly the next area also um, again you would want to keep this sort of area on your charts as as the next opposing area on the weekly on the weekly chart on the US dollar so with weakness coming into the US dollar if we get back up into here um, it might be an idea to start looking at the euro um, the Aussie the pound to see if they are in in demand zones and seeing if you can catch um, buys on those um, pairs because they're inversely related to the US dollar um, so it would be something that you want to come into the level and not just take it at the level. Okay, so that's the US dollar. Um, as far as I can see, you can see on the daily chart it's just grinding down. It's grinding through all the demand zones that were in the way. Very, very um, difficult for people trying to buy because every attempt to buy has been met with significant, significant um, selling. The next area to watch on the daily chart is that area down in there. Again, depending on how this arrives, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens because if we start forming supply zones as we are right above it and they're not taken out before price gets here, it's going to be difficult for the buyers again to, to get any traction. But this is obviously much lower. Though. You can see how this area works very, very well. Um, you can see that right there. So you want to be, this area is now being taken out that's the area that was taken out on the on the weekly chart that we saw so that area is now removed you now have supply it's again it's not of really good quality so you now have supply above on the on the daily as well 
which is now being hit or very close to being hit so this is what is in play for for people um, trading the smaller time frames on the US dollar you have price getting close into supply so again on in the short term on the euro the pound the Aussie the US Canadian you want to be looking for short term um, buying opportunities with the dollar into into supply okay so let's take a look at um, gold I'm just gonna take a quick look so this is this is let me just take out all this from an old um, I think I posted that on the thread this is what we're looking at on gold let's start with the ooh, so many I teach too much <laughs> Uh, remove all the drawings okay so with gold we're kind of stuck in between levels now um, so we still have this level which was a result this was a momentum ending level plus it removed supply zones you can see the trend line there was also broken plus all these supply zones have been removed we're now we've come very close to it selling obviously down in here was was not an ideal situation because you were so close to demand and you can see that some buying has come they're early buyers. They're early buyers who are trying to, to catch this zone. It may push up from here. The chances are, though, that you may base a bit and then come down, if not come down straight away. So it's one to watch. This is the demand below, and the fresh supply below, as far away as that seems, is around there. I'm not using that because of the move back into the zone already. So again, it's not fresh, and clearly nothing up in here is fresh so that is the fresh supply zone that's above so we're looking at prices relatively low and but not not quite low enough i suppose so we'll see how this goes um we're watching it anyways and on the weekly you can see that we're we're beginning to take out pockets of of sellers as well and we're beginning to form pockets of of demand we haven't yet fully formed this demand because it's still in the process of being formed the move away is still not there yet um, I've had a few questions already about this level this is not a supply zone this is a liquidity search this is this is the actual supply zone which again was posted um, I think on another video way back before this happened and that is why you've had that fall because we hit um, big picture supply with no quality demand until down in here and you can see that the closer we we got to this level buyers started to come in so will they try and push it down one more time to get back down into this area or are they going to start forming new demand zones as we go up there's no fresh supply zone to stop such a rally if it does happen you will get pullbacks but those pullbacks will potentially be buying opportunities um, for us if we have enough of these kind of demand zones fully formed and and looking good okay so in the short term you can see clearly on the daily chart the, me and the guys had this level um, on the daily chart um, which was tested before it came back into it again and you can see pockets of buying still holding price up right now so on the daily chart a lot of people I know were looking at this level um, I know that um, this lower one worked for a bit but it came down into into supply so you had that lower level below this one and now it's been taken out there we, there was no profit margin on that trade anyway um, so now that's been removed so we're looking at potentially price pulling back again and going so we're looking at something like um, something like this happening price pulling back into there and then potentially going back up again um, we're forming new demand here as well um, this one is not fully formed yet because the move away isn't great yet but you want to keep an eye on this area see if if prices do come back in the fashion they come back and if there's enough of a, a profit margin and stuff it's not f it's not ideal for a trade right now but you may want it to come inside don't don't take set and forgets in here wait for it to come inside and then start looking on a smaller time frame like an hourly or 
30 minute or a 4 hour or whatever to look for um, new demand zones being formed in here okay so that's gold let's take a quick look at oil and see what we get so with oil we've, we've continued the slow march up no big moves but we're still going up that's what's in the way of anyone buying right now and in terms of demand we have okay this big wiki thing not great not great at all in fact possibly you could draw it like that you could draw it like that um, and the the real quality demand is not till down in here which is still a bit of a ways off right now there will probably be some demand down in here on a smaller time frame we'll take a look in a second but for now that's just a wick down into that um, there's really no visible demand in this area um, on this time frame yeah so watch this area as well if we base and go up into this area then this area becomes at risk because you have very close demand um, there as well going to the weekly we can see the weekly is still in an uptrend and you still have really not even great zones still holding up price this kind of ugly not you could you could you couldn't even call that demand but clearly there were but there were buy orders in there now there aren't a lot of buy orders going by the methodology there aren't a lot of buy orders but there are enough to be holding up price for one two three four this is the fifth week that we haven't been able to break through these guys um, and then on the on this is the weekly view of that monthly up in there you can see the move out of it so the the next demand on the weekly if you're looking at that if we take this one out is down in here and you have a little lower one there so these are the areas to watch on the weekly um, as for now as we as we're watching it all right so we may form new new levels and We'll, we'll adjust accordingly on that okay um, let's take a look last one at the New Zealand the New Zealand yen not one that <laughs> we often look at it's I'm not sure how popular it is at all as as a as a pair okay so here we are we've got supply up here and we've got new demand very very wide and wiki area created because of the end of the momentum there plus we've taken out that supply with the move away from it so it's something to to keep on your charts and we're kind of right there in the middle of the move now you can see the weekly is still clearly in an uptrend um, clearly in an uptrend we're having um, embedded zones still holding up price obviously on a smaller time frame you'll see demand in here somewhere probably that's causing the the price to continue going up so we'll see how we get on at the moment I think that is the first supply that's going to be in the way of anyone um, buying right now so that's one to watch that's the next supply zone and obviously you have more you'll have more supply zones up in here on the smaller time frames let's take a look at quickly at the daily um, full disclosure I'm I'm in in a trade on this on this uh, market entered down in here somewhere entered down in here somewhere um, uh, earlier this morning so I'm in this now prices have pulled back again you'll see we're in an uptrend we're not anywhere near big picture supply yet so that's why I entered the trade and you can see what we're doing right now so my entry was around there this um, not well not sorry not around there at this price level I mean <laughs> um, so this this sort of zone so I entered just about there um, earlier today and we are we're still in it um, so we'll see how that works out so you can see the thought process with which I arrived at this trading opportunity there's n we're still a ways a bit of a ways away from from big picture supply we're in an uptrend here we're we're in a sideways trend there um, so we expect if we're going to be ranging we will we'll want to be selling high buying low buying low selling high buying low selling high that kind of thing so we've pulled back into a demand zone now with a good enough move away and the I love this love this kind of basing just before the zone because what it tells me is that there's no quality supply above me when I enter down in here so that that's why the, um, 
I entered the trade and you can see what's happened so far okay guys I hope that's useful for you um, apologies if I sounded a bit sleepy been a bit under the weather the last day or two um, thank you again to everyone who's been posting on the thread there's so many so many of you now it's it's great to see um, I'm really really enjoying it um, I've, I've made a new friend Elios um, I'm I'm hoping to to get you Elias to learn the methodology and and trade along with us. I see you already have the skills for a trader, but just fine tuning is what we're doing. Um, I hope you don't mind my posting and posting about your your um thoughts as well. Thank you to everyone. Hopefully, I'll sp speak to you again um in a in a week or so. Take care. All the best.